Oh, hi there. Hi. hi, can you introduce yourself? My name is Arvin. I'm 33 years of age and I'm currently uh, the political bureau head for National MIC Youth and I'm an entrepreneur. I got involved in politics uh, in the year of 2006. And why did you get involved in politics? During at that time, you know, many uh, wanted change. There were a lot, a lot of complaints about the current policies. So everyone was gasping for a change. And I thought that I could uh, contribute for a change and betterment to the community by choosing uh, MIC as a platform. That's how I started off in politics. So a lot, of, a lot has happened this year. What do you think about the current political situation? Definitely, I think the current political uh, situation is not stable at all. Because if you can see, uh, you know, from one government they have elected and now they are going, uh, they have shifted to another government. I think it's not stable at all. But it is for a betterment because why? Uh, look at the uh, situation uh, during the pandemic. It's been handled pretty well. And uh, plus, even though our economy is ripping down because of the previous government, this current government is stabilizing it and we are moving forward but I really hope this could be better uh, in the near future. So um, Arvin, you are an up and coming young politician, mm. do you think more youth should get involved in Malaysian politics? Definitely I think more youth should get involved in uh, Malaysian politics because if you see, uh, I don't go with the saying of today's youth are tomorrow's leaders, today's youth are today's leaders. Like if you see in Finland, uh, Sana Marin has been elected as the youngest nation premier and uh, she's just only 33 years old and if she can, why not us? Okay, that's a good answer. So I wanted to ask you, if you were chosen as a candidate for DD15 and you won, what is the change that you want to bring? If depends. Uh, if I was elected as a member of parliament, I would like to bring a Racial Relations Act uh, to enactment and also the anti-hopping bill. Because why? It'll, it'll stabilize the country better and also the Racial uh, Relation Act will bring unity so you can't discriminate anyone from any race or religion. So Arvin, where are we right now? We are actually at Taman Botanic. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so what do you do in your free time? What I do right now, I like to work on myself, like let it be fitness or knowledge, reading. So yeah, I like working out. So do you have any aspirations in life? Yeah, definitely my aspirations in life to live in a country there much more unity like how our forefathers have fought for and uh, live up to the name Malaysia is for Malaysians. Uh, do you have an idol? Yeah, actually my idols are the trio of independence Tun Tan Chien Lok, Tun Viti Sambandan and uh, Tonku Abdul Rahman because these people fought for a cause and they got independence that we are enjoying until today. So I think um, they've inspired me a lot, you know. So I just want this country to come into collectively as Malaysians and we live in peace and harmony for good. Okay, last question for you, Erwin. What was the last book you read? Uh, the last book I read was Identity by uh, Dr. Uh, Xavier, uh, sorry, Dr. Francis uh, Fukuyama. It's a great book, you should read it. Okay, and that concludes our interview today. Thank you for your time. Bye. Thank you. Bye.